two filters on top of each other. This is for sure a crazy task for the autofocus to handle. This is looking so amazing. Oh my goodness. Check this out. There. Spot on. That's totally <laughs> stupid, bro. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Dude, there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> That's fine. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is will the autofocus of the Sony A7 over the Sony A7 III still work with filters on the lens. So let's get it. By the way, all equipment vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So here we finally go after the CPL review and after the ND filter review. The card after the mentioned vlog. Check it out if you're interested. The question was, will the autofocus get affected in any way, shape or form? So that's what this vlog will be all about. I heard that you cannot put filters or anything on top of your lenses whatsoever. But what I've seen so far, that is not true actually. It might be the case that you have to clean them thoroughly. They need to be flawless, spotless, not a single hair must be on their surface. That might be the case and I for sure keep an eye on that and they are spotless, trust me. I even got myself a little blow thingy just to clean them also for the sensor. This thing is amazing by the way. So yeah, enough said. Let's get to the first test. Daylight polarizer plus ND8 stacked on top. Will it still work? Let's find out. So here we go at my local pond. Oh my goodness, why is it so windy today? As you can see, it's a very sunny day. It's definitely way too bright for just the polarizer. By the way, by now I learned that a polarizer takes around two stops of light. So let's slap this ND8 on top of it. It's looking pretty spotless to me. Here it is. Here we go with the new white balance. So the polarizer takes around two stops. This ND8 takes around three stops. So five stops in total. Now, it doesn't seem as dark as the ND16, which only soaks up four stops of light. So I don't know about this number, but if I ever get to a scientific test, you can find it right here. And I probably will freaking win. But now it's just about to focus. Oh my God, no, it's not clean. Anyways. Bright background. Any problems? I do not think so. Lake. Back at me. Responsive, fast drive speed. Two filters on top of each other. This is for sure a crazy task for the autofocus to handle. Hello. Hello, focus. so fast no problem at all Damn. there are a few dust crumbs on this on this filter I can clearly see it
ISO is flashing. What does that mean though? Is it too bright or is it actually too dark? Let's try the ND16. Now oh, that's looking way too dark. For sure, oh my goodness. I'm assuming that there weren't any problems at all. Anyways, let's get right to the next test. Just the polarizer at a low light situation, kind of. So here we go, autofocus test with the polarizer on the lens. And it is about to become low light every freaking minute. And by the way, I'm here with Steven and Mo. Yo, and they're Yo. testing a gimbal. If you're interested, you can check out their vlog right here. Well, their video, I guess. So complicated, bro. How do I do this? <laughs> Dude, the focus is so good, it's spot on. Spot on? Can you help me balance this I heard this in a few videos that you cannot put anything on, on your Sony because it will mess with the autofocus, but so far it's looking good. I'm at f.0, well f.20. <laughs> I messed it up. I will just walk around, check out the autofocus. Boom. Back on my face. It's working perfectly fine and it's funny because there's the same dude right here from the last video from the polarizer test with this little ship. I think it just stopped. God damn it. Look at this fool screwing around for five minutes already. And me with my epic box. You can check out the vlog right here. I'm done in literally 30 seconds. Damn, Daniel. This polarizer is doing such an amazing job. I mean, look at the freaking water. It's so good. The focus is spot on. It's not hunting whatsoever. Face detection is, of course, active. Look at this dude working on the gimbal. He has no idea what he's doing. Oh, it, it does work though. That's a cute gimbal right there. It's looking so, it's actually looking fairly comfortable and light. It's actually a good one. Compared to the Ronin, freaking two kilograms. Yeah. What's the weight of this one? I'm not sure, but it's already heavy. You can expand it with that. Oh yes! Make it even heavier. Focus is spot on, baby. No issues whatsoever with the polarizer. Why should it make a difference? It's an urban legend, basically. Someone said in a video, you cannot slap anything on top of this camera. You sure, bro? Chasing gimbals. Can we do a gimbal challenge? A gimbal fight. Gimbal sword fight, imagine that. Hey, can you take a picture for Instagram? Dude, this is looking so... Just keep it away from your face, goddammit. Don't make it so hard on me. Look at this dude run. Come on, do it again. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is the first time that the A7 Mark III gang is in one place. The gang bang gang. We have three Sony A7-3s. That's so, that's so That's so funny. Cheers, bros. Cheers. Raise your gimbals. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is it up? <laughs> what the f Spot on. All the freaking time. Okay, no issue whatsoever. Can we do some cinematic? Thingies. Oh god! I almost died! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, I almost died and this, <laughs> this that's that's such a stupid idea. That's totally stupid bro. Ten grand on this raft or whatever this is. Freaking ten grand. What can possibly go what wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Last time he crashed his Sony, it's not that long ago. <laughs> you can check out the vlog right here. This guy crashed into this guy. Epic carnage. But the lens is still fine. This is crazy. I fixed it. He fixed it for good. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You did something wrong, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's already about to get low lighty in here. Can we do some cinematic shots so it looks like we would know what we are doing dude no joke but this is already looking cinematic out of focus spot on baby i need a new white balance though look at this freaking lake it's looking so good oh yeah <laughs> it's looking kind of funny this is looking so amazing oh my goodness do a backflip Spot on. There is no problem whatsoever with the polarizer and the, the sun is gone. 
sun is gone for sure. So let me switch to the low light profile. By the way, that's a regular daylight picture profile. And this is the low light profile right here. I think it's not, it's not necessary yet. But just for the hell of it, I'm now using the low light picture profile. And if you want to know more about picture profiles, check out this vlog right here for the Sony a7 III, that is. Check out my channel. I already linked your video, so link mine as well, God damn it! <laughs> I need more subscribers. Autofocus back on me. Let's go. No problem whatsoever. There is no hunting issue at all. I saw a video where he did something like that. He was talking to the camera and the focus was hunting like crazy. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Dude, there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> That's fine. Good thing the camera was rolling. Just like that, basically, it was hunting, but. As you can see, there are no issues whatsoever. Hmm. The thing is though, I, I'm, I'm wearing a black jacket. I think he wasn't. There is a good amount of contrast going on. If I just move, use my hand. Got his face. By the way, I'm using the fastest settings when it gets to the focus and it's snappy, that's for sure. I think I'm this close from actually mastering this camera. Well, that might be the wrong word, but I'm getting accustomed to all these features. It's amazing. And the autofocus seems to work even in these outer edges, fringes of the, dis of the display. Wide focus area, of course. Looking promising and it's already fairly dark. Let's give it a few more minutes. So 10 minutes later, everything that you put on the camera, every filter will of course compromise the low light performance. You f***ed, you f***ed the shot. Still locking onto my face. Amazing. Five more minutes and it will be dark. Whoa, it's getting really, really dark. Low light performance is simply amazing. And there is no need to censor a thing because everything is blurred. That is amazing. It's freaking amazing, I love it. Look at this dude. Still trying to work out this gimbal. It's crazy. It's looking like that there is a light shining on my face, but there, there is no light at all. How is he not falling off this thing? This thing is heavy as f <laughs> It's too heavy. Oh, there is the sun. How do I fix it? It's too stiff, my man. Five things not to do with your Ronin. Watch the vlog, you will learn. How do I fix it, bro? It's too stiff. What do you mean? The gimbal is too stiff. How? The settings. Which settings? There are no settings, bro. If it's shaking like that, that means the camera or the weight is too low. It's too light. Really? Yeah. Bullshit. Okay, but I put some weight on it. Fixed. Right here is the rest of the sun. It's completely gone, but it's still able to pick up Something how is this possible? There is literally no no light left. This is looking epic. Oh By the way, the ISO is now flashing. That's basically the max that it can take Perfect timing and that I already filmed I just filmed it if like an hour ago and it looked that the focus had absolutely no problem whatsoever could be that it's because of this epic lens that I'm using. It's a size Disagon 225. Also focus on the fastest settings, responsive and fast drive speed. But I'm pretty sure, well, I dare to say that it's a-okay to use filters with your Sony a7 III. And all this gathering of knowledge about this camera and accessories will lead to exactly this vlog right here. It's the culmination because this dude, he said, inexcusable things. This was too much for my heart. I love my Sony a7 III. It's a great camera, it can handle the filters. There was no crazy hunting at all, even with two filters stacked on top of each other. And I'm using the polarizer at the max setting, by the way. So yeah, this concludes this vlog. It's all fine. Don't worry about it. Get your cheap NDs and polarizers from China. But yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I want to smash this dude. No, I actually don't. He has his reasons. Anyways, bang the bell like crap.
never miss. Equipment vlogs, check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.